I know what you guys are thinking. Why have this review later than usual? Well, you can blame Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Is it my fault? Probably, but let's get this out of the way. I am Mega Man NG, and I welcome you to another Rise of the TMNT episode review. Today, we're going to be talking about episode 11A, The Purple Jacket. Before I begin with this review, let me say that, yes, it was unexpected because it was leaked the day before on iTunes on the 7th. And then it was released online on the 8th before it got aired. Why Nickelodeon does this, I have no idea. I really don't because I really worry for the series. And if it ends up going the online route, I'll have to review them as they are. What can you do? I'll provide a summary as well as some of the main points. And I have another review I have to work on anyway, so let's get it over with. It begins with Donnie heading into high school to meet with April for a bit of help but the sight of seeing a group of students wearing purple jackets catches his eye. Don wants to join the group, but they want to see if he has the tech and the skill. He gets in, but April has this feeling that something ain't right. Too bad Don's about to learn the hard way as his tech is being used for evil. Now it's up to Don and April to stop this trio of troublemakers before they go in for the biggest heist of them all. That's pretty much the summary in a nutshell. But yes, new episode, new review, and we got not one, but two. Before I continue with this, let me say that today you're getting one episode review, and tomorrow you're getting the other. Don't ask why, it's how it is. It's just that I'm just one person who can only do so much. And I try at least, I really do. But anyway, yeah, it's unexpected because like I said in the beginning, the episode was leaked on iTunes on the 7th of December and then Nickelodeon decided the next day to release it online. Will this really matter? Not really. It really doesn't because it gives me more of a reason to continue doing what I love and it's reviewing this show. And surprisingly enough, this episode is a Don and April focused episode. And yes, these two work together big time, and you'll see what I mean. The plot of the episode has Don wanting to join a tech club, and after proving himself, he actually does, and his reaction on him getting that purple jacket is just insane. It really is. But Don finds that his own tech ends up being used for evil, and when that happens, he and April have to stop these guys before they end up taking a heist so big that it's going to involve some serious hacking. And speaking of which, we get ourselves a debut. It's not a new episode without a debut. And this debut is of the Purple Dragons. For those of you who don't know, in other incarnations of TMNT, the Purple Dragons are a gang of hooligans, troublemakers, that pretty much cause trouble for the Turtles, no matter what the incarnation. They were in the Mirage comics, but they did not appear in the 1987 series. They did were known in the 2003 series and 2012 series. 2003, they were working for the Shredder and they led by a guy named Hun. And in the 2012 series, they're just a bunch of thugs. But they wouldn't be taken seriously until season 3 of 2012 where Hun steps into the plate. And boy, they are still not taken seriously. Here in the 2018 incarnation... We get a different one, and it involves a trio of teenage computer hackers. And like I said, we got debuts aplenty. We have three members, Jace, Jeremy, and Kendra. April knows Kendra since kindergarten, and I believe after this episode, she finally realizes that her friend is not what she means to be, or what she seems to be, to be exact. Jace is voiced by Eugene Bird. Kyle Macy voices Jeremy, and Kendra is voiced by Tanya Gennady. All of them did pretty good. And this is one episode that shows Don being at his absolute techiest. I'm not kidding. Why would I even use a dumb word like that? But it makes perfect, perfect sense because Donnie is the brains of the operation. The brains and the tech. And it really does show in this episode when Donnie wants to impress these guys so he can join their club. And when he realizes that his tech's being used for evil, yeah, these guys are not who they seem to be. For me, the highlight, it happens at the end of the episode, when Don and April had to chase down the Purple Dragons, using not only some tech, but also some old school skill to take down the Purple Dragons. It's pretty awesome, especially at the flight scene, the fight scene between April and Kendra, with both of them using tech to try to take each other down. But you want to know how they get taken down? By the jacket. Yeah, throwing the jacket pretty much stops them in their tracks, especially Kendra. 
I also feel that this episode teaches Don a little lesson. Looks can be deceiving, especially on people who may think have good intentions, but they don't. And Don pretty much knew that the hard way because the jacket had like a beeping sound, and that's you can tell that these guys are also hackers. Very dangerous hackers, and at a young age too. And for a different incarnation, they turn out to be pretty good. I like them. I like this incarnation better than most others. And since it is more of an action comedy cartoon, it makes perfect sense to have Purple Dragons be like a group of teenage hackers. And I have a feeling they will be back. Probably, but who knows. This episode also marks the first time that we actually see Don without his gear. For most of the episode, he would always have like a sweater with a hood to cover himself. For me personally, that's a first. It really is because this is Don that we Don out of his element. I'm struggling to find the right words because it's late at night and I gotta get this episode review up sooner rather than later. But what can you do? I'll be honest, what can you do? I'm just trying my best on all this, you know? Yeah, the, if you guys know, if you wonder why this review is late, is because Smash Ultimate. As I mentioned already in part one of my playthrough of Smash Ultimate, the Adventure Mode World of Light, yeah, my Smash game didn't come in on Friday, so I had to go to the post office to pick it up the next morning. It's horrific. Thankfully, it's all behind me. I have my copy, and I'm enjoying it. But at least you guys are getting your episode of views, and if we're getting more, you guys will be the first to know. Hopefully, the TMNT Wikia can provide me more updates, because that's how I found out that we have new episodes. By the Wikia. Yeah, like I said, Smash Ultimate threw my entire day for a loop. As such, you guys have already gotten Smash Ultimate. The episode review is now here. I've, it's followed up with this episode review right here, Rise of the TMNT. And at 8.30, you guys are getting the Ace Attorney anime review. And tomorrow, you're getting the other Rise of the TMNT review, followed by more Smash. And yeah, if you want to know what my final score for this episode, it's an 8.5. A pretty solid, pretty good episode that gives Don and April a chance to shine. And I forget to mention these two got great chemistry. It works so, so well. It really does. I really enjoyed the episode. I couldn't find anything wrong with it. Although, I think Don should have realized sooner that these guys were bad news. April did warn her, and look what happens. Hey, what can you do? So anyway, yeah, that is going to be it for this episode review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if not, I tried. I really am. It's late at night. I got to make sure I get this in. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and more importantly, click the bell. Doing it all helps me out big time. It really does. You guys are going to be getting another episode review tomorrow at high noon, so look forward to that. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out. See you in the next review for Pizza Pit. Cowabunga!